Here we are, August 24th, 2007. The Man in Black, Josh Beaver, Brian Adams, the Billy Bobby Hurley wannabe, are getting ready to race in 22 minutes. Brian Adams, how do you feel about today's race? Many consider you to be the underdog. What are your thoughts? Underdog? He ain't no underdog! No, it's, 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 I'm not one for cliches, but I'm going to give it 110% and I'm just taking this every 10 yards at a time. And uh, original saying that I came up with is not the size of the dog in the fight or the speed of the dog in the fight. It's the... Well, I can't keep that straight now that I threw speed in there. It's usually the fight, fight, fight in the dog. I guess it would be speed in the dog. So I'm pretty confident, Steve. Uh, I just need to get loose now. Um, many people think that one advantage you may have is you ruined with a former Westland track athlete. Do you think that will give you any advantage in this race? I think so. You know, Steve Harder would probably be the guy you're mentioning. Um, but unfortunately, I never thought I'd run any track in my life, so I didn't really try to tap into his, what I'm sure is vast knowledge about the subject. I've only done some cram in the last two weeks. Got to give a lot of credit to Coach Chambers. He's uh, directed me to some proper techniques. Um, Ted Bowling's put me on a diet of 800 calories a day, so I've managed to drop a few pounds, and uh, I think I'm ready to go. Do you think your excellent racquetball skills uh, with the quickness involved in that sport will help you in this 40-yard dash today? No question, no question, Steve. I mean, racquetball, just a high intense, you know, fast muscle, twitching type sport, reaction, quickness, explosion, uh, that's got to help in a 40-yard dash. Um, your competitors also critiqued some of your, your, uh, your training techniques, uh, not only in the, in the present but in the past, using the Smith machine, otherwise known as the self-assisted bench. Um, do you think that will limit your range of motion and possibly lead to uh, hamstring injuries or quad injuries or maybe even tearing a pec using your arm so violently in this race? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, the studies have shown that, you know, if you bench 135 on a Smith machine, that's like doing about 180 on a free weight. So, I mean, that fact that I, I might be a little bit too bulky right now, a little bit more barrel chested than I would like to be coming into this, but, uh, you know, that's a risk I'm willing to take for, you know, when I take my shirt off out of the park. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get to your warm-up, and we hope to interview you right before the race. Thank you. All right, here we have uh, Josh Beaver, who many people consider to be the favorite. Uh, we'll get to his list of accomplishments earlier, but probably the most impressive is that as a freshman in high school, uh, was a state qualifier in the 200-meter dash. Josh, many people consider you th to be the favorite, despite weighing uh, you know, near 100 pounds more than Brian Adams. What are your thoughts on the matter, on the race? What, are you going to use your size to your advantage? Well, you know, big men always get, get disrespected when it comes to speed. You know, we got one example. A former, former athlete of mine was challenged by, by actually a female who thought she was faster than him at a, uh, at a track meet in the parking lot who ended up, you know, winning the race by a good 25 feet. So, you know, like I said, big guys never get any respect. We're, we're, we can move just like these little guys, so... That's kind of what I'm out to prove here today. I got a mission with all these big men so on are my back. You, are you <clears throat> referring to uh, Brian Adams as a female, or 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 am I just hearing things? Uh, you know, I'm not trying to start any controversy here before the race, so uh, you know, you take that as you want. Now, uh, your your competitor has complained uh, starting yesterday of a of a sore throat. Um, do you think he's after if you beat him? Do you think he's going to use that as an excuse? Uh, I don't see him as that kind of guy. I, I find it kind of uh, interesting that the sore throat also comes after a day when, where he can't claim that he spent the night watching porn. Um, so, I mean, I, what the cause of that sore throat is, be it virus or uh, trauma, you know, uh, uh, I guess that's, uh, that's not for me to, for me to, set, to decide. Now, uh, we talked to your competitor about some of his weightlifting techniques, and we noticed you brought one of your uh, apparatuses that you've been using to train with. Uh, would you explain to us uh, what you have in your hand and how you this, think it's helped you prepare for this race? This right here, this would be the 24-kilogram uh, kettlebell. Not, not a better apparatus on the planet to, you know, get a guy in shape, get a guy explosive, anything like that. So, you know, you might, might not get a, little, a, lot of, uh, a lot of time in the Gold's gyms where the, you know, the bodybuilders work out, but, you know, if you want to be an athlete, 
that's the type of thing you need to throw around. So can you make a comparison? Your competitor said benching 135 on the Smith machine was equivalent to 185 on a free bench. Can you make any type of comparisons being able to do a snatch with the kettlebell and how that compares to, you know, some uh, person who can bench 135 pounds on the Smith machine? I think that question just speaks for itself. Okay, well, uh, we wish you luck. We'll let you get warming up, and we're looking forward to this challenge, and hopefully we'll be able to interview before and after the race.